Woohoo, going over some work, going over some work. So, good morning, welcome. It's Jilly Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast. I uh, wasn't doing anything with these little paws that I'd done quite a while ago. Um, so I just thought I would use the canvas and go over them. So that's exactly what I am doing. Uh, you can absolutely go over work that's already, you know, this maybe was done or might even be a year ago. I'm not sure. I'm definitely over six months. So I am, um, I'm going to just see what I can do with it. I have some colors that I have had made up for maybe 12 months in bottles. So I am going to, um, just have a play. Just going to have, oh gosh. play that's what I'm gonna do where are we okie doke let's go over this this is just some black I've got made up exactly the same as I would do then normal uh, paints in my cups the pouring medium recipe is in the drop down box as is also a link to um, making up paints and uh, varnishing them it's all in the drop down box there's links to videos that uh, for beginners so I think I cover everything there so so what do I do with this now I'm not sure whether I want to do a dip with it or whether I want to oh let me give it a go let's try a dip I haven't done a dip for a long time so as I said I've had these colors made up for absolutely ages so I don't know how good or bad they will be I don't even know how I mix them up because it was so long ago so I'm just going to go with it and see what I can get. So that's obviously turquoise. Ooh, that's a red. Turquoise and red do go very nice together. I love kind of doing these um, chevron, chevron patterns. I'm going to try a bit of this purple. I'm not sure if this is probably won't show up too much against the black but we'll give it a go I think these were just poster paints actually I think they were just uh, tem tempera tempera poster paints nothing special uh, I'll go over with some white for a contrast here. So this is the Amsterdam White and Floetrol just because it's the only one I have made up in these in these conta squeezy containers. So this may turn out absolutely horrible but let's just hope that it doesn't. Might do some wiggles, wiggles and wiggles. Probably should not have painted that because there'll be too much paint on there. I wonder what it will do if I just go over this. Shall we try? You never know if you don't try, so I'm going to give it a go. I'm completely um, flying by the seat of my pants today because I no plan. I'm just doing it, so I've not gone over this with anything but the old pour. So wish me luck. Let's do it. This is the dip. Turns out messy, then you guys know don't do what Jill did. Just do your own thing. <laughs> Weather is absolutely gorgeous outside and I will be going for a swim after I finished in my art room to finish off my whole therapy session. I think a swim is in order. So what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to actually turn it over so it transfers the paint 
onto the other canvas as well. So this might turn out just absolutely crazy messy but you just give it a go. There were three canvases sitting there that I wasn't going to sell. I didn't particularly want to give them away because I hadn't finished them off nicely. So, so there you go. I'm just using them up. Dip it back. Back, back. Let's, uh, let's hope this has turned out. Might be something really nice. It might be not. Here we go. Just pull it off. Okay, well that's interesting, it's actually quite nice. I think the black is a bit too stark, definitely. Maybe the white background would have looked pretty good. Let's just give it a hit with the blow dryer. Be, it would have been nicer on a light background but it's quite nice it is quite nice actually I don't mind that well you guys let me know what you think do you like it do you dislike it I've done loads of dips in my past and some of them have turned out or most of them do turn out absolutely stunning and then obviously some not so stunning but that's not too bad at all give you a bit of close up on that there you go so yeah it's it's quite nice I could do some little wispy bits yeah maybe a little bit of a little bit try and put a little bit of white in there a little bit of wispy bits so you can still I can still do this while it's at this stage My dog, sorry, he's, I don't know who he's barking at, but probably his own shadow. So just, just trying to embellish it a little bit. So what I'll use is I'll use the um, skewer to just, just wanted to get a bit more white in there just a bit more contrast it's kind of disappearing into the paint but it did cover the other painting so all I would have to do is um, the edges just go over with black on the very sides not too bad at all with very very old paints that's been made up for a very long time in those containers so let me know what you think um some gold would be nice in there i'm just thinking of all these things i could do to it now but anyway um it i give it a try and uh i probably would like a bit more brighter colors against that stark black but if that was on a white background it would have been perfect i will try again I will definitely try again. So thank you so much for joining me. Until tomorrow, bye for now.